Okay, so I feel like this video is probably getting long now because I inserted in quite a bit of footage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a part two. I don't really know how I'm gonna organize that footage. One eternity later. Hi you guys, I'm back. I literally just got done recording the other video. Um, just kind of kicking off all this footage that I have from July and the move and vacation and all the things. Um, so if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Gabrielle. I was still by Gabby. Here on the channel, we are Miss GCH. I have been pretty much missing off the internet. Um, I've been on my Instagram story, so if you follow me there, you know. But pretty much everywhere else on the internet, I've been like those two. Did have a viral video on a TikTok of my PhD defense, so that's fun. But yeah, I'm back. I'm excited to show you guys all the footage that I've been taking. So today's video is going to be the moving footage um, of moving into my apartment. So the last time I showed you moving out of Virginia um, and vacation. And then here is at the end of July when I moved in and then about a week after that, actually exactly a week after I moved in, I had like a mini housewarming grad party. Um, so first talking about the move-in weekend, honestly it went pretty perfectly. Um, I didn't have really, yeah, we didn't have any troubles. I am on like the highest floor at my unit and so getting all of my stuff in, there's some elevators, so it was a lot. Okay, it was a lot. Getting unpacked felt like a lot at times. Like, it just was a lot. And I am a little bit interesting. I don't know if anyone is like me, but with transitions, I have a hard time. Like, I, I'm excited about the transition. I'm even excited about, like, my place and, like, all of that. Like, nothing is wrong. I am excited, okay? But it's also, like, I'm ready to be settled in. Like, I put a lot of pressure on myself to like have this place done and fully furnished and all the things. And it's like, first of all, that costs a lot of money to do that all at one time. And moving costs a lot of money. So my bank account is like this. Swipe the card again and see what happens. Swipe the card again and we'll embarrass you. <laughs> so I'm trying to like chill out. I have the main things that I need. Shout out to all my family and friends that have helped, who uh, have bought me things. My parents are just amazing, first of all. All the people who bought things off my housewarming registry, like all of it has helped, for sure. So this place is actually a lot more far along than it would be if I had just been trying to furnish this place by myself. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you to my uh, village. Y'all are dope. Um, but yeah, it just, I don't know, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself, um, to get this place right, and so, it's been an interesting time, like, just, I don't know, getting settled. I haven't even recorded a lot of it, which I probably should have, um, but right now, we're gonna focus on the moving in footage, so, here's that. Hi, you guys! It's moving day. I just pulled up to my new apartment. I am so excited. We just drove from here I got in from vacation yesterday morning and so I'm about to go in get my keys sign the final paperwork make my last payment before moving in sorry the light is going crazy then I'm getting my keys and we're moving in so I'm super excited because I'm definitely giving you guys an empty apartment tour because I am just in love with this apartment and I can't wait for you guys to see it and see the whole thing before I actually like get it furnished because it'll be a while before it's furnished because it's a lot of space it's a two bedroom two bathroom and I have never had an apartment that big and I sold all of my furniture, if you remember, from Virginia. So, let me get in here. We just made it. The parents are here with us. And yeah, it's so excited. Ah, okay, stay tuned. Hello. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna fall. Say what's up. Do you know what's happening today? What's happening today, do you know? You don't know? I'm moving into my apartment, bubs. I'm moving in. I've been keeping all of my things, slash having my bed and all the big stuff sent to my parents' godchildren's house. I want to try. I want to try. So we're here. Hold on. I want to hold it. I want to hold it. Okay, hold on. Can I finish this and then I'll I'll let you record? So we are here. I went to my apartment first, did the empty apartment tour, and brought in some of my things. And then now we're about to load up all my stuff that I've been keeping here in storage, slash all the things that have arrived here. We're gonna pack up our cars and start heading to my apartment. If you, okay. 
You gotta talk to them. Hi, baby. Hey, Look, you gotta hold it back so they can see you. Say hi. There you go. See? Hi. <laughs> We got work to do. Come on. Yeah, we got work to do. They ain't helping. Right. As excited as rain is here. Right. Yeah, you baby. Oh. Ready. Hello. Alrighty. Here we go. Here we go. pieces sorry if the quality sucks I'm on my phone um but I've been trying to get this bookcase I probably told y'all this if I did I would edit this out if not I've been trying to get this specific bookcase and it's been out of stock but it says it's in stock so we're gonna try to find it my parents have never been to Ikea they are Ikea virgins Ikea virgin oh hi <laughs> okay so the shoe racks and the dressers that I wanted are both sold out, out of stock. That's fun. But the bookcase. Hi. We got it. Very happy about that. So, yeehaw. Wait a minute. Mom, this is it. John Axel. Oh, yeah. That's it. Hold on a minute. Isn't that it? Hold on.
I'm looking so crusty, so crusty. But welcome, guys. I was supposed to pick up this camera last night, okay? To record my first night in my apartment. <clears throat> I don't know where this video is going. I don't know what I've updated you about. I don't know anything, okay? This weekend is a blur. However, um, what happened? What happened? What was I about to say? Mm, last night was my first night in my apartment. It is kind of a mess in here. <clears throat> There's tons of stuff on the countertop, so no judgment. Because um, I was cleaning and pulling out dishes and stuff, but I didn't have shelf liner yet. I got that literally at the last second before Target, Target closed last night. My parents left yesterday. <clears throat> last night was my first night in the apartment because I don't have a mattress yet. Can you see that? That's my bed frame, no mattress. Those are pillows and things. But I didn't have a mattress yet <clears throat> and my family was, my parents were staying with me this weekend and there was no room for three people to sleep comfortably without a mattress. So um, we spent the night at our family friend's house a couple minutes away <clears throat> so we could all get a restful sleep on actual mattresses they have a huge house um so we stayed there and then <clears throat> obviously last night i stayed here still don't have a mattress the plan was to get a mattress yesterday from big lots we were gonna just strap it to the roof of the car to bring it here um but ended up that they have a delivery option but the mattress that i wanted i ended up going there and they had a different mattress that actually is better for this bed frame because y'all Y'all pray, this bed frame so far is not what I envisioned. It's making me regret getting that one. Um, but we're not we're not gonna go there, okay? We're gonna stay positive. That's the only furniture I've bought that I've been disappointed about. But I just pray once I put everything together and the room together, I will actually like it. But all that to say, it is very low to the ground. Um, it says it's a platform bed and you don't need a box spring. Maybe it's just me being tall um, that I wanted a higher bed this time, but the legs will be exposed, so I don't want to put risers on it because I feel like that's going to look ridiculous. Like, I feel like risers are supposed to be hidden, and I'm not doing the bed skirt thing this time. Like, I'm doing more of a capsule style of bedding. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, anywho, I don't have the mattress yet because they were out of stock. Um, they said they have some coming in on a truck Tuesday morning, tomorrow morning. <clears throat> it's currently Monday. Did I say that? Monday the 26th at like 10 something a.m. So, uh, I plan to call first thing tomorrow morning. And the lady said if I call, come in and pay for it, then I can, um, have it delivered. And I'm assuming, I don't think, I don't know if it's same day delivery, but hopefully by Wednesday. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I will be sleeping on a mattress because I slept on my couch last night. Again, no judgments on the mess. Y'all know I'm a very clean person, but I still have lots of unpacking to do. I have to build my bookcase today. There's just a lot happening, okay? <clears throat> it's okay though, I'm very happy. I'm so excited. Um, however, this couch was not made to be slept on. Um, it's comfy, but it's very firm. Yeah, it's very firm. So I had to shift a couple times because my neck was screaming. Um, this pillow was not made to be slept on. So it's taking a beating. It's okay. I washed my sheets yesterday and blankets and all that. The bedding, the comforter. Um, actually, I just washed, washed the duvet cover. I didn't wash the actual comforter yet. But yeah, I did my first load in the laundry. Okay, laundry. I did my first load in the washer and dryer. It's amazing. These appliances are, y'all, so bougie. I just feel so bougie living here. Like, what? It's great though. It's great. I, I love it. I, I just, I'm very excited. So my goal is to today build the bookcase, which it is a full wall bookcase. There is a area in between. You'll see. Okay. But it's it, essentially big enough to cover one whole wall in my office. So it's going to be a journey. Um, 
So I need to do that. I need to go turn in my checklist of like marking like what was damaged already in the house and all that kind of stuff. All is well. So yesterday I had Chipotle for dinner because I have not bought, oh, that's the other thing I need to do today. Grocery shop. I have not bought groceries yet. So this was dinner, but I left it open because I fell asleep at like, I don't know what time last night, watching Space Jam. And I did, I obviously didn't make it through Space Jam. I fell asleep on Space Jam, so I fell asleep on my food, which is fine, because I was pretty much done eating. I'm talking a lot today, wow. I kinda wanna start building the bookcase and then go get groceries and maybe come back and finish the bookcase. Because I don't want it to get late on that. I don't wanna be doing that into the middle of the night. Um, dang it, but I wanna do these shelves. Yeah, I gotta put all these dishes away before I go get groceries. Which means I need to cut shelf liner and do all that jazz. Ugh. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm back. Um, checking in, I have been productive. I went and um, feel like I'm competing with that. Welcome back to the channel. I just turned on Jaleesa Vaughn. I love her content. And I was watching, can I just say, Face Over Matter. Her vibe and her essence is like goals for me. Like her editing style, and creativity is just, if you don't know her, I'ma put her something, her link somewhere on here so that you can check her out because child when I tell you, goals, okay? But anyway, I've been getting caught up. My TV is on the ground. Did I tell you guys that already? No, I told Instagram. Vlogging on both is so confusing because I don't know who I've told what, but my TV is legit on the ground, okay? I just booked to have it mounted. I have a circle mirror that is like 31 inches in diameter that is going in the front entryway hallway. Um, and that, I also booked the mounting as well. So, I've that done. I ordered the stuff for my grad party slash housewarming party on Saturday. Decorations and like plates and that kind of stuff. Um, I need to call my mom so we can put in for the catering. Which is just, we just getting like some Jimmy John sandwiches and um, some maybe Chick-fil-A nuggets and some fruit trays and veggie trays. And she gonna make her punch, get some water, kumbaya, okay? That's what it's gonna be. And I just talked to my friends and they're staying the entire weekend. Kim and them are coming for the whole weekend and we're just gonna have fun. There's a ton of stuff to do here in the apartment. There's a pool, gorgeous pool, like resort style pool. There's literally resort style features here. Like, it's just A1, okay? I will show you guys all that. There's a, a theater that I can rent out. Um, not rent out, it's, that I can book. I can book, it's like a full in-person theater with couches and like rug walls and like, chow, fancy. And then there's um, like a common area with a bar. There's a breakfast area. There's a, a Starbucks machine where I can go and get coffee, free coffee. There's an arcade room. All of this is free, right? A gym. All of it. So we're gonna explore all that. I will show you guys all that. I may show you snippets and pieces, but I'm not gonna do a tour of it just because, you know, safety and privacy. I can't show you everything about this apartment because then y'all will try to come find me, okay? And I just don't wanna deal with that kind of stuff. I feel like I got six videos worth of content right now. And it's just like, who's gonna edit this? I don't know. They have been successful. The countertops are clear now, for the most part. A little bit of other stuff over there, but need to build my bookcase. Um, 
so I can clear some of the rest of it off. But anywho, I just want to show you guys real briefly that I put everything away. All of these are not full at all, but I just have stuff. I have some other stuff coming. I did not organize this stuff when I put it in here. I just put it away. And I still have the housewarming on Saturday, which all of my nice dishes and stuff that's coming are gonna go in here. Um, I was very rudely interrupted by the um, battery dying. But anywho, <clears throat> I was saying that my nice dishes are coming and they'll go in there. I made this like the, um, why am I telling you guys all this? Like I'm not gonna do an apartment tour later, but it's fine. Um, I have my Keurig over here and my coffee pods. So I put all of my coffee mugs in here, have my clear ones down here, and then I have some coming with the dish set. So those ones are white, so they'll be in the back behind that. Um, and then this is kind of like my kick around dishes, everyday use dishes. So I've got like the plastic plates and stuff, paper plates, plastic bowls. Um, these are actually plastic cups, even though they look like glass. I actually bought them last year for my move, thinking they were glass, and they were plastic from Amazon. Um, and then I have my tumbler cups here, and then up there I just have some of my like water bottle type cups that I might want to grab. Um, and I thought I had more than that, but I'm kind of glad I don't have more than that. So that's in there over here. Um, I I don't know if I'm gonna end up changing the stuff around, but anyways, I have spices down here for now because I'm getting a spice rack that's expandable and I wanted to make sure. I originally had the spices in this one, but it's shorter. So because this one is longer, this, the expandable rack will like go all the way across. I can fit all the spices in there. So I was like, that makes sense to me. Um, I have a smaller like everyday use appliances up there. So my Nutribullet, the cups for it, and then my toaster. And there is a little space here, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna use that for anything. And then these are my glass storage containers that I use for my fridge. So they won't consistently be there because um, they'll be like in use once I have groceries, <laughs> they'll be in the fridge. So yeah, I have room for, I do have some glass, um, what's it called? Glass meal prep containers that were purchased for me. So I will probably put those up on the top shelf with that stuff because it matches. I don't have anything above here. Whoa, it's just turned on. Why? Tap me. The y'all y'all see this and y'all hear this right? I'm just not gonna put my hand up there because I don't know what that's about. <laughs> and then over here I have my like liquid stuff. Um, oils and Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce, red so red sauce, mm, hot sauce, <laughs> vinegar, apple cider vinegar, all that jazz. I don't know if this is gonna stay here. Part of me kind of wants a lazy Susan, but then also I'm not sure one would fit in this. Yeah, this is not the vision, but I just had to put my stuff out for now and we'll figure it out later. Um, this also won't look like this. I have some amber glass. Um, dispensers coming for dish soap and for hand soap so I probably will take this whole tray out um, and maybe leave that with the amber glass and then this will obviously just be gone <laughs> and that tray I might use in the guest bathroom on the sink I don't know but that's kind of what my mind is thinking I do have some dishes in here that I need to wash but I'm tired of being in the kitchen to be honest <laughs> I feel like I've spent so much time here and I'm ready to go build this bookcase. So I'm gonna go do that. Happy, what day is it? Tuesday. Sorry, I haven't vlogged much at all today. I think I got some clips of me building the bookcase is the last thing you guys saw last night. And just a quick sneak peek. There'll be a whole video for that, but bookcase is built. It's lit. The braids had to come out. I'm kind of salty because they were only in for like two weeks, barely. No, more like a week and a half. But I mainly got them so I wouldn't have to wash my hair every day while on vacation, so it's fine. But I grabbed the camera because the mattress came. My mattress is here. I'm obsessed with the height of it. Like, obsessed. I really thought I was gonna have to get 
bed risers. I think I told you guys this. Like I was really concerned that the height was going to be too short. But I love this. I don't know why, but the height is actually really good. It's like really good. And this is just a mattress. Um, I got a 13 and a half or 13.25 height queen mattress. Um, it's a Serta plush mattress. So it actually has this like memory foam plush layer thing on the top. And then um, I think it's got all other layers and uh, springs and all that kind of stuff. But there's no box spring this time. So it was high enough for me to not have to get the box spring. And now that I look at it, I'm glad I didn't get the box spring because as you can see, I have a platform bed. And I knew this already, but seeing it, it makes it more clear. I have a platform bed and a box spring would have sat literally right on top of that. And then the mattress would have been on top of that. So literally that whole headboard probably would have been covered if I had bought the back the box spring um, <clears throat> with this set. So I am obsessed, you guys. I was surprised that he didn't take the plastic off. Usually before they put it on your bed, <laughs> they will take the plastic off. But it's fine. I will do that myself. But first I'm going to call my mom. Um tell the mattress is here. like how I want it's just it's really exciting this whole neighborhood I think is amazing I have access to so much over here like I I don't have to drive very far for anything that I need but yeah that is the moving in footage um we built some things we put together my bed my couch um I will say that we did put start putting together my um office uh so I have two bedrooms two bathrooms I think those of you who have been watching these videos now, you know that. And the second bedroom is like a guest room slash office. Um, getting a pull-out bed in there, which I'm super excited. Or a pull-out sofa, pull-out bed. A pull-out sofa in there. And I have a full wall um, bookcase that I got from Ikea that I just, I'm obsessed with. So we went ahead and started building that, but all of that footage will be in my office slash guest room video reveal. So... I think I put a little clip in here of like us starting to put together, but I'm gonna save like the big reveal of that space for that video in particular. So now, like I said, a week later from me moving in on the 24th, I had like a mini housewarming and um, grad party. It was super small. I did not even, I was, it was funny, like people were reaching out like, why didn't you invite me? And it was like, oh snap. Like I I wasn't making it a big deal because first of all, I didn't want to feed all them people, okay? That's the main thing. I am still moving. My bank account is like I told y'all, it's my card talks to me every time I prepare to swipe it. Therefore, I wanted to keep it small and I also am very forgetful. I haven't hosted people for anything in a very long time. And I'm I'm just not good with like I think sometimes I downplay the things that I do and I'm like, people don't care. And people are like, we care. We wanted to be there. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. So 
Yes, all that to say, it was a small event, but I was so grateful. A lot of my Columbus friends I haven't seen in literally a year or over a year decided to come um, and just spend some time with me, check out my place, and it was just nice. My family and friends came down from Akron. Um, my immediate family and, and, and friends came down from Akron, and we just had a good time. We just had fun. I had a cute little setup here. Shout out to my friend Jayla, who I wasn't even gonna have a party at all. Like I just, I was like, no. That's at this point, COVID had taken so much from me. I felt as far as how I would have wanted to celebrate that I just wasn't even gonna do anything. And she was like, excuse me. You just got a whole PhD, and you're telling me you're not gonna have anything. Like you're not gonna celebrate this at all. And I was like. Well, so shout out to her. She really gave me the motivation and the courage to just kind of stick my neck out and do something. So she helped me pull it together. All of my friends helped me pull it together. You will see them. They just, they came in clutch. We did record some footage from that. Like I said, it's pieces and parts, but I will show you guys that footage now. Things never change, eh? How you doing? Hello. Hello. Oh, you know, she's trying to sell a little makeup on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I'm being called. We're on our way. We're on our way. Sorry. Okay, bye.
Uh uh, focus. The best committee was the fruit and veggie committee. Right here. That's right. Period. Everyone that's here and everyone that comes, everyone that wanted to be here, God, we are part of the village. Yes. And we're grateful to you, Father. And we pray this in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. 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 What are you doing? Well guys, we have finished the selfie sticks. Love it. And now we're just gluing. Are these for people to take pictures with? Yes, we have a selfie wall. So, did you show them the selfie wall? Yet? I did. Oh, okay, good. So this is gonna be like a selfie stick. So we have different designs. Okay. I tried to do a heart. Yeah, I love it. Oh, these are so cute. It's gonna be fun. wraps up all of my footage that I've had like sitting around <laughs> waiting sort of I have um, my organizing videos that I will get to editing I have a few more tweaks to make to both of those spaces before I post those but those are gonna be coming up um, and like I said this is a lot of home content because I just moved and that's just like what my life is right now um, getting the space exactly how I want it um, so there will be videos like that, like I'll do a video when I decorate my patio, um, I will do a furnished department tour once that's done, once the office is done, I will do an office guest room um, one, when the organizing videos are done, I will have those as separate videos, so a lot of that kind of content is coming out, um, and I'm not a super huge fancy decorator, I am doubting like every purchase that I make, but so far, everything that I've gotten has been good. My bed frame took a minute to grow on me, and I was very, very paranoid about the color for a while, but now it's, it's, it's sitting well with me, like now I can handle it. So, all of my purchases so far have been good, um... And so, yeah, once I'm all done with that, I will show you guys. But I'm just bringing you along this journey. I really don't even know what all is going to come out of it. I just, I feel like I have so much to share with you guys. I hope you will stick around and be a part of the family. Share with your friends. Um, get our momentum back, even though, honestly, I can't even complain. The fact that I haven't been posting very many videos at all and still made it over 5K, like... You guys are great. You guys are so supportive and so loyal, and I love, 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 love this community. So, share if you want. I hope you like this video, and I hope you will choose to subscribe and stick around for everything else coming up in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!